Hey, what's up guys and welcome to part 2 of my happiness series. Today I want to introduce you to a concept of Tony Robbins and there are three aspects to it. Meaning, focus and physiology. Meaning relates to how you interpret a given situation. So for example, as a guy you might approach a girl and ask her out and she says no. Now you have different options of how you might interpret this situation. On the one hand, you might say, well, this means I'm a worthless piece of shit, nobody likes me, I will have to die alone. And on the other hand, or on the other extreme, you might say, well, that might mean she has a busy day, she just doesn't have time for me today, I can still ask her out sometimes else, and that she doesn't have time means she's probably got other hobbies, she has her own social life, she maybe has an own career and therefore is a very interesting person and is worth to be pursued further and I should put in more effort. Now, same situation, same stimulus, if you remember the last video, and totally different reaction to it. On the one hand, you might get depressed, sad and hopeless, and on the other hand, you might get excited and happy. The second aspect, focus, means what do you concentrate on in any given situation. For example, a couple of weeks ago I went to Turkey and when I wanted to fly back, the plane was delayed by about one hour. Now, again, I had a couple of options. On the one hand, I might have gotten pissed and worried about that I get home one or two hours later because of it and that I have to cancel all my plans that I wanted to achieve once I got back. On the other hand I could get excited because now I have a whole hour just for me to read and educate myself that I didn't expect to have five minutes ago. And also I could appreciate the fact that we do have plans and that I'm able to get from Turkey to Germany within two and a half hours or so instead of in six months if I survived the journey at all, like it was about two or three hundred years ago. The third aspect, physiology, relates to how do you use your body language, how do you use your facial expressions. And actually there's quite a big amount of research on this. For example, Stark et al. did a study already in 1988 that's pretty interesting, I think. All they did was give their participants a pen and put it between their teeth. One condition was like this and one condition like this. In the first condition where they put the pen between their teeth, the participants rated a comic more funny afterwards than the participants who put it between their lips. So the facial expressions create the feeling of happiness or sadness without any other stimulus from outside. So yes, if you're happy you smile, but also if you smile you're happy. Regarding body language, I've put the TED talk of Amy Cuddy in the description below in which she talks about power posing. High power poses, in comparison to low power poses, actually are able to increase your testosterone and reduce your cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and make you more self-confident and increase your ability to take risks. Now, be well aware that none of these aspects solve your problem directly. However, if you can't change the situation, you can be happy anyway. So, for example, when I was on the plane, there was nothing I could do to get me back to Germany faster. However, I was able to be happy in the situation, although something didn't go as planned. On the other hand, if you are able to change the situation or to do something about your problem, I believe you will come up with better solutions and are more creative in finding a solution when we are in a good mood versus when we are in a bad mood. So as Sig Siglar said, positive thinking won't let you do anything, however it lets you do everything better than negative thinking.
So how do we use all this? In my opinion, the first step is awareness. If you are unaware of what you focus on, what meaning you attach to any situation and how you keep your body, none of this is helpful in any way. So the first step you want to do is raise your awareness. For that, anytime you think of it, ask yourself, how do I feel right now? What happened just a moment ago and why did it make me feel that way? So for example, you remember that to ask yourself the question and you stop for a second to ask yourself, how do I feel right now? Oh, I'm happy. Why am I happy? Uh, just a second ago I had a great conversation with this person over there, so for the future I should have more conversations with this person over there. My second tip is practice power posing and smiling in front of a mirror. You might be surprised how it changes your interactions with other people, your self-confidence in general and your performance at work or in sports. My third idea for you is this. Whenever any kind of problem comes up, say to yourself, something good will come out of it and ask yourself how can I use this? How can I change it? How can I improve it? And then do it. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video and if you have any kind of questions or feedback let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to the next video. Have a nice day.